first we want to figure out what the heck this is, and then we want to name it. So, maybe one way if you're feeling confused about this is you can number the carbons. Uh, and so you've got, you've got these, there's three of them, let's skip that for a second, but I've got one here. Uh, there's another one there. There's two more here, so this is like three and four, see, because there's two of them in a row. Then you got another one here, this five. This is not the same naming the longest chain, I'm just numbering them so I can make it into uh, a line structure. Five, I've got a sixth one here. Well, that methyl is attached to this, so I'm going to skip that one. And finally, we got this seven. Is that kind of okay? Okay. So, this carbon, which is right there, I'm calling, I named it number one carbon. That has a CH next to it. Okay, that I called number two. This number one also has three methyls on it. One, two, three. I didn't name them or number them, but so far so good. So I've got this, I've got that, and I've got that one. So now this methyl has an H and a BR on it. So I'll put a BR on here. So this, what I labeled number two, has a BR and the H I'm not going to draw. Okay? Next to that is two CH2, so the third and the fourth one. So one here, number three, and one here, number four. I know it's a CH2 because every carbon has four bonds. So there's one, two, and then two hydrogens stopped on it. This, then there's a next carbon, number five. That fifth carbon has two CLs on it. Then there's a sixth carbon. That carbon has an H, which I won't draw, and a CH3. And then there's the seventh carbon, which is just a methyl group. Is that kind of okay? So I've got this carbon with three methyls. I've got the next carbon with a BR and an H. I've got two CH2, CH2. I've got a carbon with two CLs. Then I've got a carbon with an H a C, and a CH3. And then after that is another CH3. So is this part of the problem? That, that's right. So if uh, maybe some things to get used to the way people write stuff. If it says CH3 and there's more than one of them, then it's kind of a list like this. Okay? That are kind of like branch like. If it says CH2 with a list, those are part of the main chain. So CH2's in parentheses in a list, those are main chain CH2's. CH3's in a list are like branches. Okay. Uh, now, every carbon in here is bonded to two carbons and two other things. For example, number three is bonded to this carbon, this carbon, and two hydrogens. So after each carbon, you should see two things, always, that's on the inside. So you should see, in this case, an H and a BR. In both of these H2s, there's two H's on them. In this case, there's two CLs. In this case, there's an H and a CH3. So what I would say is uh, carbons on the inside are bonded to two carbons and two other things. All carbons on the inside. All carbons on the outside are bonded to three things and one carbon. For example, this carbon is bonded to three other carbons, okay, and this one. This carbon on the outside, really over here, has an H, we didn't draw, a CH3, and another CH3. So outside, carbons close to the end have three things on them, 
carbons on the inside have kind of two other things on them. Is that sort of okay? Yeah. Okay. Name this now. What's the longest chain? It's not necessarily seven. So we'll get rid of these numbers. Anybody? Five, six, seven, eight. Yes, and that includes all my halogens. So remember, your longest chain, when there's a halogen, has to include all halogens. So it's eight, it's octane. Uh, there is one, two, three methyls, so it's a trimethyl. There's a dichloro. And there's a bromo. Okay, what else is there? Um, well, we have to do the numbers before we can put it together in our template. So there's two choices. You can number from the right or left. Let me try both. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the top. Okay, and then I want to see which one will give me the better set of numbers. So let's do the top first. That'll give me a 2, 2, 7 for the meth methyls. For the dichloro, it'll give me a 6, 6. And for the promo, that's a 3. On the bottom, it'll, for the methyls, it'll be a 2, 7, 7. For the bromo on the bottom, it'll be a 6. And for the dichloro on the bottom, it'll be a 3, 3. So you got a bunch of numbers. So why not cancel the ones that are similar and just see what's lifted up, left over? So we've got two 3s. They kind of neutralize each other. We've definitely got two 6s. They neutralize each other. We've got some 7s and 2s that cancel. So what's left? For the top rung is a 6 and a 2. On the bottom rung is a 3 and a 7. <clears throat> so 6 and 2, 3 and 7. Sounds like 2 and 6. Sound good? Are the lowest possible numbers? That's the top rung. <coughs> uh, so I'm going to take those numbers circle, the top numbering system. That will be in alphabetical order. The bromo comes first, so it's three bromo. Then comes the chloro, a six, six dichloro. Then comes the methyl, a two, two, seven uh, trimethyl. And then comes the octane. So the ligands, uh, the, not ligands, the groups or the substituents in alphabetical order with their numbers and prefixes, and then finally the main chain. Does that work for you, Jamie? Yes. Okay.